Hi everyone, welcome to FT Insights. I'm Mike Fibus. You know, the practice of medicine in a decade will be vastly different. We're marching down a path toward what's known as precision medicine, where physicians custom tailor treatments based on what they know about us. And our DNA, or what our physicians know about our DNA, will play a big role in that. In the meantime, though, a, a complete genetic sequence is still fairly pricey. And also the stories and insights that we're able to glean from that are still developing. Today, however, what we're seeing is an influx of what I call boutique DNA firms. Those that do, that sequence just a piece of our DNA in order to tell us a story. What I really wanted to tell you about today was a DNA test that I had occasion to take. I was recently contacted by a company called Origin. They offer a half dozen different DNA tests. There's one that examines uh, your fitness level, one that takes a look at your moods and how your biology might affect it. The one that I did is called Fuel, and it takes a look at two dozen different genes and what that says about how you react to different foods. Let's take a look at one of the results. This is for caffeine metabolism. And as you can see, I don't do too well. I'm one in eight people who metabolize caffeine very slowly. I know this about me. I, if I have caffeine after, say, 2 p.m., then I can't fall asleep at night. Here's one result that focuses on fatty acid response. And as you can see, I'm in a part of the population that has a tendency toward higher cholesterol. This is absolutely true. Even with diet, I'm still on cholesterol medication. The accuracy of the ones that are apparent, like the ones I just shared, really gave me confidence in, to believe the ones that aren't readily apparent. Like, for example, there's one test that showed I have uh, poor absorption of vitamin B12, also vitamin A. Most of the advice that comes out of that are e eat things that actually I sometimes crave, like spinach, asparagus, broccoli. Bottom line, I can definitely recommend the fuel test. It also it makes me want to try some of the others. If you try the fuel test or any of the others, let me know what you think. In the meantime, eat your broccoli. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye-bye.